as you can see it is laundry day this weekend is going to be I think just a chill weekend vlog. Next week is going to be oh so busy. I have a concert that I'm going to. I also have The Crown season fucking five coming out. And if you didn't know, I am totally obsessed with The Crown. The Crown is so good. And Black Panther comes out on what day? The 11th, I think. So, so many things are happening. And I plan on doing a single well I kind of think I want to do like a short little single concert vlog for the concert I'm going to which is Itzy which is a k-pop group and you're probably going to be watching that during this which is also probably going to be during vlogmas oh my gosh I hope vlogmas is going well yeah I'm trying to finish editing this vlog but the thing that's holding me up is that I have no idea what day I filmed anything so it's like stressing me out and it was supposed to go up this week but I didn't post any video this week which I'm trying not to beat myself up over because like it happens but like I like having a routine you know I wasn't even gonna vlog I was sitting here like trying to talk myself up and like let me just tell you October was a really really hard month I feel like the transition from officially ending summer into fall was just rough a little bit there i feel like the whole month i was just so unmotivated and i constantly was just looking for excuses not to do things not to vlog not to edit not to work out not to do anything not to do my hair not to you know go out with my friends realize every single year in october that like i thrive off of the sun i'm just like where is the sun i need it it's like mm. So, what I've been doing otherwise is trying to have no excuses November. I like talking, so this is fun for me. And so I was just like, why wouldn't you? You love putting out videos, you love vlogging, you love this, it's fun for you. So why not just keep doing it? Who cares if anyone watches the video? Who cares if, like, it's not as good as the last video or whatever? Like, just keep doing it because it's fun and it doesn't matter, like... At least you're doing something. As I was taking the stuff off of my bed, I was like, no. Get your camera, put a card in, put the battery in, and let's get this started. Finally, have another load in the washer. 56 minutes, fire going. And have Let me show you something I got this, this week from Target. Disney mini brand things. They come in these like round things and you take the little random thing out of each pod thing what do people do with these do you just like i imagine you don't just throw it out but like what what do you do do you just keep them i got a shelf that i can't fit anything on so it's kind of useless but it's a shelf so we have rapunzel i got minnie's telephone snow white jesse from Toy Story. I also got Bo Peep. I got Sleeping Beauty. Mickey themed kitchen. I don't know. Taps Shield, which is so cool. The most amazing one that I got is this gold Spidey. Oh my god, it's like they knew. They knew. Um, I don't think I'm going to turn into like an avid collector of these, but that was fun for the one time. I actually have like two more, but I got them for my friend for a very, very, very late gift for her. <laughs> and I still haven't packed it. And yeah, so I got her some too, because I was like, if I'm doing this, you're doing this. I talked earlier about how I was editing this vlog that, not this vlog, but I was editing a vlog and I had no idea what order the clips that I had went in. I couldn't tell because I was wearing a gray shirt, had my hair up in a bun, and I couldn't tell if it was the same gray shirt or what, and so I was very, very confused as to the order of events. And because I was pretty much talking about the same book, I couldn't tell what was happening. So what I have started to do, and what I think I will try and perfect as a technique in the future, and it works for me so far, is using my notebook to write down all of the things that I film. Um, I'm really excited though to be done with my Infinity Saga rewatch. I feel like I would be a great person to be into like Star Wars or something, but I'm just not into it. I just, I just don't follow it in the same way that I follow the MCU. I don't know why. I've tried, like I watched the, 
what was it called? I forget what it was called. I don't know. The one with John Boyega in it in Oscar Isaac. The trilogy, I watched that, hated it. I was so misled. I thought there was going to be a Black Jedi. I was there for John and that whole trilogy just went 500 different ways sideways that I didn't expect. But I don't know anything about Star Wars so I guess my opinion doesn't really matter but it was disappointing because that was the sole reason why me and a lot of my friends decided to go together to see that movie because we thought, hey, there's a black Jedi. They're making a black lead for this movie. Let's go support. I swear to you, there was a trailer that came out that made it seem like he was going, anyway, it just was so cool. And I was just like, whatever. But I've never watched like the original ones. So maybe that's part of it why I'm not like ooh about it. Maybe that was the worst introduction to have. But I didn't know and I don't care. I tried to watch The Mandalorian and I got through season one. I didn't even care to check out season two. I think I got into the first episode of season two and I was just like, yeah, no, I can't do this anymore. It's, I don't care. But I think it's also because that came out right after the last movie of the trilogy came out. And I was just like, nope, I don't care anymore. Like that was horrible. <laughs> So we are making progress. Sheets are washed and dried. Pillows are back in pillowcases. We're watching The Crown. The transition from Claire Foy to Olivia Coleman. I feel like the more times I watch, the more I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> they play the queen completely differently. And you know, if Claire Foy did put her whole entire being into that role I feel like <laughs> it would have been easier to just pass on. Olivia kind of plays her more in a she feels more like a background player I guess and that's the thing that's like insanely different where Claire I feel like never played the queen in a way where she felt like she was in the background and it's not that she is the background because obviously the crown she has the crown she is the queen but it's just it's just it's something about her that kind of feels like the episodes aren't focused on her even when they are episodes that are centered around her you know and i feel like claire never played it like that she always was like a dominating factor in the episode i think i'm just gonna end it for today seconds to tell me why you're here. Fitzsarah Watke. Okay, but why was this better than the first one? Like this, this was so good. I could not look away. It was so good. Today is Sunday the 6th and it's Stranger Things Day. But the crazier thing about it, I didn't plan this. But I'm really here to say that we're gonna start watching Infinity War. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. and it's so dark. Please look at please look. I like what? I actually have an activity. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I have this Iron Man puzzle. It's gonna make his helmet. Oh my god. Um Iron Man isn't like my favorite, but I do I do like Iron Man. <laughs> I did like the Iron Man movies. I bought them. There's like this video on TikTok um that was of this girl like trying to convince her mom to get rid of her CDs and her mom was like no I got rid of my records and then they came back and so I'm not getting rid of my CDs and I'm, I'm with her and it's not that I'm thinking I was like so ahead of my time like no I just like having a physical version of it we are definitely moving towards <laughs> societal collapse what did Timothy Chalamet say is that what he said this is reflected in HBO Max look at how many shows on there got canceled that they're also deleting completely off of the platform so like if you don't own a physical version all of the pirating i'm i'm just saying sites get deleted and that movie is on there you know no one will ever have that movie again i don't know like like just the fact that like these streaming services have the power to just take away a whole movie show and you would never like a few years from now, no one's gonna remember that these things existed. I was watching a YouTube video and someone was, they were talking about how Dove completely, and I didn't know this, but she took 
her whole discography off of streaming it's not on apple music it's not on spotify she took everything off and it's just like boyfriend it's like if you hadn't purchased it on itunes or owned a cd if you didn't buy that stuff you'd no longer that that music doesn't exist anymore or if it's on youtube but if that gets taken down on youtube like if they copyright strike it and those videos are gone you would no longer have those mu that music and that's insane still alive he is not a dude you're a dude this this is a man a handsome muscular man Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fine as hell. It's so cool. Like, I did that. I did that. Like, look at it, it looks so good. Oh, it's so cool. But that took me the whole movie. I was a little distracted, admittedly, but like, damn, I wasn't expecting it to take the whole movie. It's Iron Man right there, and then it has like a little Tony Stark right there. And then you have Tony Stark's signature over here. I don't know. I think it works. I moved the Black Panther poster up just a little smidgen so you can see it still. So it like kind of works. That's all. Wanted to show you that. Now I am going to start Avengers Endgame. Y'all. <laughs> Iron Man got me. <laughs> I was balling like a baby. I finished Endgame, which means I totally finished my timeline rewatch of the MCU Infinity Saga. Took me like all year. I think if I do this again next year, it'll go faster. Just because there's some movies that like I was really dreading watching because as I said earlier, there were some movies that I had only watched once and that was last year. So this is my second time watching them. But they weren't as bad as I remembered them being, but there are still some that I'm like, ugh, I don't like watching them. But I have to get through phase four rewatch, which I think that's gonna take forever and a day because now you have the TV shows involved and that's that's crazy. But anyway, Endgame right after Infinity War hits so differently. <laughs> like the emotions I was feeling watching that movie were just like, whew. Some of the endings I'm just like, mm. because I feel like it would have made so much more sense for like Carol to do the snap because she's already like, you know, so wouldn't that make more sense? I have to remember that Robert Downey Jr. also was like done being Iron Man. Like he was ready to like peace out. And so was Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson. Like they're ready to just kind of put this phase of their career behind them because they've been doing it, holding it down for like 10 years. You know what I'm saying? The whole thing with Cap, like, oof. as I've said, I think I've mentioned this before. This is not a Peggy Carter, Agent Carter, Captain Carter friendly page. I don't care for that woman. At the same time, there is no way there could ever be a universe where he could be presently existing and he wasn't with Sam and Bucky. So there's no way Sam and Bucky could proceed to be in the MCU if Cap wasn't with them. Like, it just wouldn't make sense. Like, it doesn't compute. Like, God, the Infinity Saga was just so good. And I think personally watching it in timeline and order is so much fun. The context, overall makes sense pretty pretty seamlessly pretty seamlessly and i totally suggest if you've never watched in timeline order to try it but yeah anyways thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope that you enjoyed it it was really i don't even know what i did to be quite honest i feel like all i did was watch movies did a lot of laundry this weekend anyways tomorrow or today i i don't know what time it is but I am going to my Itzy concert and I'm so excited. I'm going to do a vlog for it. And then later this week we have Black Panther. I am so excited, so excited. I'm going to see it on Friday at like 10 a.m. and that's gonna be another vlog. So that's like two more vlogs that you can anticipate that are gonna be pre-filmed on this Vlogmas thing because I'm pretty sure this is gonna air during Vlogmas. So that's exciting. I hope that you're enjoying Vlogmas. I hope that this was a good video to like kind of fill in a little spot. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye. <laughs>